Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, yeah, yes, just another, another shielding to check out. I think we got this one and one more, but this one is the Cyber Dashy. Interesting names uh, for these. I mean, the last one I looked at was the Rain. Okay, so this one's a little bit more eclectic, if you will, and it is in the design as well. And you, you'll remember, you know, I said one of the things I like about Shielding is they collaborate with a lot of different designers. And this one is no exception. This is an Antimonov design. So very cool. Obviously, you've got this red, black, G10 carbon fiber handle going on. Pretty cool. Got a little bit of contouring going on as well. I like it. Overall, nested liners, open construction. Now, you do have a pop of color, not only on the pocket clip, but on the thumb studs as well. Uh, titanium clip, very nice. Definitely liking that. Thumb studs are titanium as well. Overall fit and finish, again, done pretty darn well. Centering looks to be right on point. Uh, everything chamfered off, done very, very nicely. Pocket clip has been turned down very nicely. Just overall, again, pretty well done. And we've seen a few of these now. Not only have we seen a few of the their production models, but we've also seen a couple of their OEMs recently. And all of them, all of them have been done pretty well. You know, the rain, we developed a, some, some lock stick on that one. But that can happen at times. We'll see what we can do to correct that. But yeah, overall fit and finish done very, very nicely. Now, you pretty much got the thumb studs for, ooh, look at that blade. Thumb studs for deployment on this one. Uh, reverse flicking, yeah, not for me. <laughs> it's tucked in there pretty well. Some of you uh, expert reverse flickers may be able to get it. But yeah, not for me, but it flips out so nicely on the thumb studs. No issues whatsoever. Action is really, really good. Jumps out there really nicely. Now you've got this sort of, they're calling it a sheep's foot blade. Um, a little bit different, modified sheep's foot. Okay, I'll go with that. Got some speed holes there across the top. Very interesting. Just kind of gives it a little, kind of gives it a little flair. Uh, 154 CM. There's the Cyber Dashy Antimonov design. There you go. 154 CM. That's pretty much what we've been seeing on all of these, on all of these shielded knives. Now, got a pretty decent access to the liner lock there. It's pretty easy to manipulate. No issues, don't have to dig in at all. Very, very nice. And again, action is really, really sweet on this one. Get it past the detent ball and just roll it around. Very nice, you do have the forward choil there. Um, can you choke up? I can. I can choke up pretty well on it. I've got enough room. I've got a decent amount of room left over. I'm still kind of back on the handle, as you can see there. But not too bad. Uh, you do have some jimping up here. Um, if I normal grip, I'm still pretty much past the jimping, uh, especially in the choked up grip. But then again, um, as you can see, it's not very deep. It's not very deep jimping. I tried to combine those words. Um, so it really, it doesn't really aid in the grip. It's pretty much just there for looks, in my opinion. Overall, what do we got? Well, just shy of eight inches, about seven and seven eighths. I'm going to give it about four and a half on the handle, which should give us about three and three eighths. Yeah, right about there. Cutting edge. Three inches, very good. Pretty much a straight line blade, no real belly to it. Um, it does handle stuff pretty well. It goes through cardboard really nicely. Uh, the ropes, again, uh, I did have a little bit of trouble, just the thickness. I had to put quite a bit of pressure for the 21 thread, but the nine and six thread, no, no real issues there at all. Pretty much a three inch blade will handle those without much problem. So there you go. There it is up against the bug out. Definitely a, a much chunkier, longer knife than the bug out. P3 
PM2 is going to be a little bit closer as far as overall length goes. Still, Cyberdashy still wins on the chunkiness. Blades are really pretty close. PM2's got it by a little bit. And yeah, it's got it by just a hair on the handle as well. So, uh, grip length. I forgot to tell you the overall grip length. <coughs> Main grip. I mean, it's coming in at right about that three and a half. I mean, as I grip it, pretty much cradles my hand. You guys know I'm kind of into the curved handles as well. That just gives a little bit better grip. Very nice. Absolutely. So coming in, it's it's hitting a lot of spots for me. The blade, of course, you know, it's a little bit more futuristic looking. A little bit. It's not crazy. 116, 116 grams or 4.1 ounces on the weight. So, you know, the blade's a little bit more futuristic than I like the curves. So, it's not bad. Not bad. So, in the pocket, you see there, it took a little bit of force to get it down. But, that means we got a really good grip. Really good grip. It's not going anywhere. As you can see, it's a low profile clip. So, you do have a decent ramp on it though. So, it takes a little bit of pressure to go in. But, man, retention, fantastic. So, overall thoughts. Fit and finish, it checks the, checks the box there. No real issues at all. Um, action, I think we've got that box checked as well. 100%. Jumps out really nicely on the thumb studs and just roll it over. Cage ceramic bearings in the, in the pivot. So, rolls very nicely. I mean, that's all roll. There's no shake going up well. My little bit of natural shake that I have, but doesn't need any help. It rolls over very nicely. Now, the big one for me, ergos. Guys, it's checking that box as well. Absolutely. I can feel the clip a little bit up here. Uh, no real issues, though. I feel it. That's about it. It's not a hot spot. It doesn't cause me any issues. Uh, really liking the curvature of the handle. You know, the three and a half inch. On that grip length is right, right where I like it. So overall, yeah, the Cyberdashy is is checking a lot of boxes. No, no stick, no stick whatsoever. Uh, let's see here, where do we got? We pretty much have full engagement of that liner. We might be missing just a hair, but not too much. Probably about thirty-ish percent, maybe forty on the lockup. So good solid lockup, no weeble, no wobble, no issues there whatsoever. Uh, it feels like a really good solid knife. Now, we've seen four of these so far. We've seen four of the production models. As I mentioned before, the rain, we did induce a little bit of lock stick on that. I haven't tried to, you know, I haven't done all the tips and tricks. I did try to clean off the, the lock face and stuff like that, uh, but it was still there. So, you know, some graphite, some Sharpie. Uh, maybe maybe just a little bit of emery cloth may fix that. We'll have to see. But this one, no issues whatsoever. Cyberdashy. Cyberdashy's checking quite a few of the boxes for me. Like I said, if it had a little bit more rounded blade, aesthetically, I'd be all, all over it. But as it is, not a bad knife at all. Shielden's got him another pretty decent knife here. I, I have to thank Shielden for sending all these out. Like I said, got one more to check out from them. Very, very cool. And I got to thank you guys for stopping by and checking it out with me as well. Hope you have... Oh, I didn't tell you the price. Uh, this one's coming in a little bit larger. Uh, the pricing has been pretty darn good. A little bit, let's say, not better, but a little more elaborate handle material with the G10 carbon fiber mix. Still 154 cm. This one's coming in at right around $100. So there you go. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. As always, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.